opportunity for us to talk about ESL Gold for a long time, Glenn. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you're in town and, and able to give us some time. Could you give us a little bit of background on, on kind of who you are, where you've, where, where you've come from, what your educational background is, and, and how you tie into ESL Gold? Mm -hmm. I've been uh, teaching English as a second language for more than 10 years, uh, mostly at the university level. I've taught in several different countries in America, in Asia. And, uh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I have uh, developed a lot of materials along the way. And one day I got to thinking, I ought to put some of these materials that I've organized on the internet. And so I started little by little putting a few of the exercises that I'd made and a few of the materials up online. And gradually it became bigger and bigger and turned into this great website called eslgold.com. So when did you begin that? It was uh, 2002. I was working in Salt Lake City and uh, I was working at the University of Utah at the time and I asked my brother to uh, help me with the computer design because he was good at that and uh, it took us a little bit of time to get all the materials up because I had hundreds of pages yeah, sure. of material and uh, gradually it blossomed into what it is today. I've been through several different revisions of the site. Um, each time it gets better and better. It's mm -hmm. incredible. You know, as I've looked throughout the industry, I haven't been able to find another site anywhere that comes anywhere close to the content mm -hmm. and the ease of use. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's really been uh, an awesome, uh, an awesome tool for people who want to learn English. Mm -hmm. um, so, what is your mission with the site at this point, after what 13 years now? Well, I'd like to uh, have a lot of materials out there for free for people to use just whenever they'd like to come online and study English. I'd uh, like to make everything available to the world because there are a lot of international students out there who could benefit from these materials. And I'd like to uh, have some cutting ed edge technology as well, putting video and different types of things on the site. Sure. Mm -hmm. Great. Have you had any feedback from people who have used the site? Yeah, the feedback has been very positive, and in a lot of cases they've given me suggestions on how I can improve it. So it's been a really good process all the way through. Interesting. I'm learning as I go along. That's cool. So what countries, or from which countries do you find most of the visitors are coming? Oh, all over the world. Um, I think we have uh, visitors from every country in the world. We get a lot from Asia, Latin America, Europe. And surprisingly, many, many students from the United States and Canada and places where they already speak English. So we have immigrants and people like that who are here to learn English as a second language. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. So it's kind of, as I've gone through the site, I've noticed that it's kind of broken down into resources for students mm -hmm. as well as for teachers. Can you give us some idea of how you as an ESL teacher at the university level are recommending that students access the site and take advantage of it? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I like to give them some direction. Uh, there are several different subsections within the site. So let's say I'm teaching a grammar class. I will introduce them to the grammar section. And within that, there are several different subsections which explain different grammatical points and things like that. If I'm teaching a business English class, I will focus a little bit more on the uh, useful expressions for business and things like That's that. That's a great page. Yeah, and it, it's uh, designed so that there's a little bit for everybody, from the very lowest levels up to some advanced levels of language learners. I've been impressed at the, at the quality of the audio and video on the oh, site. Thanks. It really seems like it's a wonderful tool for people who have never spoken English to be able to go in there and identify examples of what needs to be said and how it needs to be said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had some professionals, uh, professional voice recorders do that. And uh, some of the people that I've met throughout my life have been in that industry, and so they helped me with the voice recordings and things like that. Well, they've really done a fine job. Mm -hmm. have, you, um, have you any suggestions for teachers in terms of the way they might be able to take advantage of the course in, their, in the classroom? Mm -hmm. I would say introduce it to your students. Um, Look at the many materials that they have on the site and say, well, let me focus on this particular item for today and uh, just search the site, find out the information that you need for your particular class 
and give them the uh, website page and let them learn as they go along. You know, I've been uh, really interested to observe how my children and grandchildren are accessing education these days with iPads and laptops and whatnot. And um, I, I was noticing last week, I, I've got a, a 10 year old grandson mm -hmm. who is required now to do his homework interacting with uh, the web mm -hmm. and submit his answers on Google Drive. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty incredible what you can do by just giving simple assignments on ESL Go to the students and allowing them to kind of interact independently of this teacher. Kind of takes a lot of burden off of the teacher, it would seem to me. Yeah, I've used it in my classes. And uh, for example, where I'm teaching now, sometimes they're they have bad weather and they have snow days and so I just send an, uh, an email to my students and say your assignment is eslgo.com slash business slash class.html for example. Sure. Go to it and uh, I'll be asking you to report on what you learned tomorrow in class. So, so they don't get they a, day, use it, a day off. They don't Sunday. get a day off when they've got eslgo.com. They can go there anytime 24-7.